Customizing your campaign sidebar, which is this section of your campaign, can be done if your campaign is boosted or super boosted. To access the interface to customize your sidebar, click on World, and then the last option, Sidebar Setup. In this list, you can see all the elements of your sidebar as they are by default. You can change the icon by replacing them with the classes from Font Awesome and change the name. Changing the name only affects the name displayed in the sidebar, not on the actual entities themselves. So for example, if I want to rename my quests to something else, let's say for example, hamburgers, and let's also change the icon. Let's go to Font Awesome and look for the hamburger icon. That looks perfect. Let's have a look at this burger icon. Clicking on the snippets will automatically copy the whole HTML to your clipboard. Let's go back to Kanka and paste the HTML in here. For this to work, we need to remove the HTML part and just keep the class element. So in the end, it will look like this. I can also move around my quests. Let's say I don't want my quests to be available in my campaign elements, but directly under my locations. I can drag and drop. Note that this drag and drop feature only works on desktop and not on mobile devices. I'm feeling happy with my changes. Let's go down and click save. You can now see hamburgers under locations. If I click on hamburgers, you'll see that everything is still called quest. This is just for your sidebar setup. Say you've changed your sidebar and it's become a bit too complicated. You can always reset it to the default version. Let's go back to world and the sidebar setup. If I scroll to the bottom of this page, there is a reset to default button. I'm asked to confirm that I indeed want to delete all my configuration. And now my campaign sidebar is back to the default. Please consider hitting the like button if this tutorial was helpful to you and drop a comment with which functionality you want us to explore in a future tutorial video.